Welcome back to Let's Talk DC. I'm joined now by Deidre Brown, president of Lexicon Title. Today we are talking about how you can save money on your property taxes. Welcome back to the show. Great to be here. How are you today? I'm great. Thank you so much. So tell us briefly, what is a title and escrow company? So we are the people you come to at the end of your transaction um, to sign all your documents. What are the real property taxes associated with uh, the settlement process? So part of your closing costs when you are purchasing a property and selling a property is you have to pay to the state and or the county uh, what's called transfer and recordation taxes. And that can run you several thousands of dollars. So for example, in the District of Columbia, if the home was sales price is 500,000, then it's 1.45%, you know, five, six, seven thousand um, dollars that you would have to pay. Um, the seller would pay it, the buyer would pay it as well. And we have similar numbers in the other uh, local jurisdictions. However, there are some programs out there um, where you can save on some of those uh, transfer and recordation taxes when it's time to purchase or sell. Yeah, that is a big lump of money to come up with. So what are some of those programs? So in the District of Columbia, uh, you, if you're a first time home buyer in the District of Columbia, you can um, reduce your recordation tax in half. So it goes down to 0.725% of that uh, sales price. And if you are within certain income limits, you can also um, apply for what's called the tax abatement. And that's where you don't pay real property taxes for five years. And that settlement, you won't pay any recordation tax and you get a credit. Uh, for the transfer taxes from the seller. Um, in Maryland, they also have a first time home buyer program where if you have never owned a property in the state of Maryland, you can get a reduction in your uh, recordation tax as well. But it, in this case, it's just the state transfer tax is waived um, and then is reduced slightly on the seller side. So there are several programs out there that can help you at settlement to really reduce those costs. All right, now that important information about saving some money for our viewers, are there ways you can save money on your real property taxes once you become a homeowner? There definitely are. There are several programs out there. The most um, popular one, of course, is the Homestead Tax Deduction. Um, once again, in the District of Columbia, you can apply for that. That is not income driven. It's just that you have to live in your property as your principal residence. And um, that saves most people an average of $600 dollars a year in their real property taxes. Maryland has something similar. Um, and Maryland's also caps, um, if you get if you qualify for the tax credit, it also will cap your um, how much you'll be charged on your assessment as your property values go up. So there are several programs out there. Um, in addition, if you are a senior citizen, and in this case, um, that's considered 65 years of age or older, and you live in your properties, your principal residence, the District of Columbia and the state of Maryland also have programs where you will get your um, uh, real property taxes reduced as well. So there are several programs out there. You talked about a few there. Are there any other programs we should know about? Well, if you go county by county, some of the counties also have their own uh, programs. For example, um, the state of Maryland has one that's very interesting, it's for disabled veterans. So if you are 100% disabled veteran, um, all of your real property taxes are waived um, and they also have that benefit can be transferred to a surviving spouse. So it's really important that you take a look um, at in your jurisdiction of what programs are out there for homeowners. You've already shared so much useful information for our viewers. Any last minute uh, tips that you have for buyers or homeowners? Yes, for my buyers, I would just say make sure that when you are getting ready to purchase a property, you're working with a title company that is familiar with these programs because some of them, in particular the two that I mentioned earlier, have to be applied at, for at settlement. You can't apply for them afterwards. Um, for our homeowners, I would suggest, you know, take a look, go to the Office of Tax and Revenue website for your jurisdiction and take a look at what programs are out, th are out there. You may actually qualify for something. You know, most people only buy or sell a home one time, and it seems like there is a lot to this process. How can someone get information that they need to ensure that their transaction goes smoothly? Well, um, if you go to our website at lexicontitle.com, we have a large video library with a lot of these topics that are covered, as well as other topics about settlement and things you need to watch out for. Um, that's lexicontitle.com. Deidre Brown, thank you so much for your time and being with us here on Let's Talk DC. Great, thank you.